What's up guys, Dark Dally here for another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands Best Sights and Landmarks. Now unfortunately the view from up here is a little bit lacking on top of probably one of the tallest, probably for sure one of the tallest mountains in the game right here, Nevado Yamiru. One of the highest peaks in Bolivia. That is where I'm at. There's no Kingslayer file here, but there is this curious little statue and I'll get to that in a in a second, I got here at the middle in the middle of the night, of course, as I always do, and I waited for the sun to rise, and then I've waited for several more in-game hours, and the fog won't lift, so I'm guessing it's just always foggy up here, which is kind of disappointing, because at night, you can see forever, you could see just all these little towns just lit up down there, it's really cool at night, but I guess it's just like always foggy here, let's see if we can, if I climb down there, can I get back up, I'm sure. Let's go down here. Let's see. As far as I know, the only way to get up here is with a helicopter. So today, I'm kind of uh, just touring the Andes Mountains, hiking and, and looking for stuff. And so I found this statue. And I, I know something about these, some small amount. But I haven't watched other videos of other people exploring. Because I, I want to do it all myself. I want it to be fresh. <laughs> and so I'm spoiling it for you. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, Sorry if you're watching this, you probably don't mind. So I don't know what these are, personally. I know that it's some things. Let's find out. I do know that when you get up here, I got like 20 of those little Ubisoft points or whatever they are for coming up here. Which is cool. Now, I know that I can pick this thing up because I had the option. There it is. <laughs> and it disappears. So what's this do? Nothing. Well, that was anticlimactic. Really? Nothing? No, like... Um, hmm. Nothing. Okay, cool. Well, I picked up a statue that did nothing. So let's continue on and see what else we can find up here. Oh, yeah, this is kind of funny over here. Uh, <laughs> the only place I could find to park my chopper, I was waiting for it to uh, to slide off the mountain. And luckily it didn't because there's a parachute drop site nearby I want to go hit. <laughs> so luckily my chopper, I parked it here on the edge and it slid to there and then stopped and I was watching it slide like no, 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 because I'm not sure I could call one from here. Now it's very possible I could base jump from one of these places. But uh, I'd rather not fall to my death trying to find out. Alright, let's go check out some more cool Andy's little uh, locations like this. Alright, and here we are on a, I, f I made my way to a nearby mountain peak. And here we actually have a view. There's no there's no fog here. There must just be fog because where I was, um, I believe I was on top of that mountain. I, I guess it's just too high. Here we actually have a good view. And wow, look at that. You can see... Uh, oh, there's that dam. There's that one dam. I, I forget what zone it's even in. There's the Sueño Mausoleum. I'm not quite sure what body of water that is. Well, let's see. That is this. Oh, that's that's still an Inca Camina. It's still kind of hard to see really far, but then again, I am up super, super high. There it is. Oh, what's that place called? I forget. Let's see if these will tell me. I forget. Something uh, Colorado. Very cool. I can see that because that's in Montioc. And uh, Yeah, so I actually have a view from up here. So I'm going to continue exploring and see what I can find. There's so much cool stuff in these mountains because there's not a lot of enemies. There are a lot of places like this plane wreck here. Interesting things to find. Let's see what else we can find. And here we are down by that lake I was looking at from the previous mountain. And this is really cool. Here's some old derelict train wrecks down here. And I haven't really checked it out yet, but it reminded me of something. There's actually places like this here where I live because I live in the mountains and a lot of these steep mountain roads semis will fall off of them and wreck down below and uh, they they just don't ever bother recovering this is kinda cool there's I don't think there's anything here it's called train wrecks I think isn't it train wrecks yeah whoops and there's uh yeah there's nothing here but it's very cool and here I've been doing some more travels in Inca Camina and I found this cool little chapel I've seen a lot of cool stuff here today, but this definitely was worthy of putting in a video. Let me show you where I'm at. Way down here, southeast Inca Camina at Santa Catalina Chapel. Now, as far as I can tell, there was no reason to ever come here because there's no missions, you know, or Kingslayer file or anything. There's a few, there's a few enemies here, though. 
it looks really, really beautiful, and it's not all uh, done up with Santa Muerte. It's still a little peaceful-looking chapel, and it looks really cool this time of day with, you know, with it all lit up and everything. Let's see. There's a cross up here. Well, that looks pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. I want to see it from all the angles. Yeah, this is a really cool little church. Of course, I want to go inside. It looks really cool in here. The lighting is, like, perfect in this place. Well, the lighting was perfect before I started filming. Oh. They're praying. I don't... Sp <laughs> Anyone speak Spanish? What, what are they just... What, what are they praying about? The lighting here is just, like, so perfect. I like that statue. That statue is really cool. Really cool. Very cool. Wow. I came in here and checked this out briefly before I started filming, and there was no one in here. I guess they ran off because I was shooting all, all the bad guys. I guess they came back. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything we're missing. My, my TV's a little dark, so sometimes it's hard to see in dark places. I like this little altar. Let's see. Very cool. Yeah, so there's so many cool places here in Inca Camina, and I'm sure that there are more. It says I'm still missing a Kingslayer file, though, though there's not one on the map, so who knows. I really like the way this place looks from the outside. Is there anything else out here, I wonder? Of course, you never know what you're going to find or where. You know, I found that little statue up on top of that mountain. <clears throat> from what I gather, there's probably more of those around the world in various places. Hey. Okay, well, <laughs> it's not wanting us to climb up there. All right, so this place is really cool. This whole zone is really cool. I'm going to do several more videos here. I kind of want to spread it out a little bit. I could really do like a two-hour um, one of these episodes. I could do a two-hour Best Sights and Landmarks video just in Inca Camina and just driving around because all, all of those like shelf roads and everything have such incredible views of Inca Camina and the surrounding provinces. This place is really cool, and I like this like traditional styled little um, mission, you know, church here. It's very cool. All right, guys, and that's it for this one. I hope you're enjoying my little trip through Inca Camina here. It's really cool, and there's lots of stuff to see. So uh, tell me what you think below, and uh, if you like the content that I put out, then subscribe, you know, and uh, keep up with the places I go and some of the stuff that I find in the game. It's really, really cool. All right, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all next time.